Hey guys, so welcome to Fun Games again, episode 27, I believe it is. We are into December. Oh my god, it's almost the end of the year. Like, I never, oh man, it's 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 flown by so fast, but yet, hey, here we are. So, um, we got a lot to cover today. So, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, Stadia, um, and we're going to cover it all. So, without further ado, there are two trailers this week for PlayStation, and here's why. Um, essentially, one of them is very nostalgic, so that's how I kind of chose to put that into this game, or into this video. Um, essentially, anybody who's ever played Snake back in school when they were kids, it was an awesome little game. You just kind of hit up over and down to make your snake grow and not run into itself. Well, they've done a remake for the PlayStation 4, and it looks awesome. And just nostalgic-wise, I think I'm going to end up getting it anyway. At the very least, if I still don't enjoy the game, my son will. Um, so that's really cool. And then we got Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. Uh, there's a video for that. So let's just jump into those, and we'll talk about a little about each one a little bit after uh, you view them both and I'm going to put these back to back so check them out. Classic Snake Adventures and Ancestors. Again, Classic Snake Adventures, I just feel like it's nostalgic. It's something that, you know, I played when I was a kid, so it would be interesting to see kind of how that all comes together and how they stayed true to everything, especially through the the four worlds, I believe it was. 
so that'll be interesting. And then um, Ancestors, some um, kind of in between. It's a survival game, great. But, um, I mean, this could bring up a whole religious topic. And, you know, I'm not, first off, I don't care. But um, I could see some people, like, protesting this game because it's not with their beliefs. And just leave it alone. Um, if it's something that you're interested in, by all means, grab it. It does look like it could be good however based off of the trailer you can't really tell a whole lot as far as gameplay so i honestly don't know on this title but it is a cool concept we'll see um all right let's dig into more playstation news uh free american fugitive state of emergency dlc is out it includes new weapons vehicles and challenges Tanks, army vehicles, miniguns, bazookas, and a new six-star wanted level are all part of this DLC that has been released. Um, they've done a great job of being a new top-down GTA-style game, and they keep improving it based on uh, user feedback. So they said they, they pushed this large update to... Um, enhance the experience based on what they've received from the community, so that's great. And they wanted to release it now uh, because of the fact that they've got more coming. And they knew that these uh, new fixes, or um, sorry, new uh, pieces were something that the community wanted. So there you have it. Um, no Man's Sky Synthesis, that's out as well. And this has a ton that the community asked for. Um, so it includes multiple multi-tools because I guess you need more than one. Uh, to be honest, I put this game down when it flopped originally. I've heard it's a lot better. I don't know if I want to pick it back up, but we'll see. Um, anyway, Synthesis is out. includes multiple multi-tools, terrain editor enhancements, VR creature riding, first-person exocraft, uh, personal refiners so you can refine on the go, uh, multiple outfits, VR photo mode, starship scrapping and upgrading, um, new tech, new base parts, starship space map enhancements, and a ton more um, that was not listed. They said there's a huge list uh, for this update. So by all means, if you're playing No Man's Sky, go ahead and check that out. Uh, may be very beneficial for you to have it. All right, moving on to Xbox, and we're going to start them off with the Kerbal Space Program Breaking Ground. Check it out.
Yeah, so that was Kumball Space Program Breaking Ground. It's been out on PC for a while now, um, to my understanding, but it's now coming out on Xbox. Um, World of Warships Legends adds ranked battles, new maps, um, and UI improvements. There's substantial rewards for participating in the 7 versus 7 matches, as well as some uh, rapid ranked matches, I believe it was what it was called. Um, you can get a lot of a lot of really cool things. They had Black Friday deals on a few things, and there were three uh, special Black Friday ships that were um, they were basically jet black, so they were able to kind of disappear in the night. So that's kind of cool. If you wanted to uh, become a part of that, you might want to do it quickly because I think it's only going on um, through today it's either today or tomorrow i believe they might continue for cyber monday but um go ahead and check that out um last piece for xbox are uh, rock bands teaming up with apple music for a special four-week season with music from apple playlists um it kicked off on thanksgiving so there's plenty of time to dust off those instruments and get back in there was no telling uh, what titles were going to be part of this collaboration, but um, if I still had it, I know I'd jump back in and, and uh, see what they were and see if it was worth playing. But sadly, I don't. I kind of got rid of it a long time ago. Anyway, anybody that still has it, by all means, check that out. And it's on all platforms for, for Rock Band 4, so um, there you have it. All right, moving on to Nintendo. Nintendo has Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Go ahead and check this out. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Rogue are coming to Nintendo Switch. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean. Ready to go. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter. With DLC including Freedom Cry. Assassin's Creed, The Rebel Collection, two epic games, one compilation. Available December 6th on Nintendo Switch. Okay guys, that was uh, Assassin's Creed, The Rebel Collection. Looks like a really good grab for Nintendo Switch. Um, I played both of these. These are amazing games. I, I think I played all of the Assassin's Creed, except for the last one, and I kind of started it. I'm about to get back into it and finish it because um, I know it's super long, um, but I will definitely be getting into that. Anyway, um, let's move on to more Nintendo news. Uh, Koi Tecmo releases Fairy Tale on Switch March 19th. Uh, the new trailer includes releases info, or release info, sorry, and highlights five new playable characters. So if you've looked into Fairy Tale at all and enjoyed that RPG element, uh, with the ability to build your guild and the um, guild establishments along the way, then go ahead and check that out March 19th. All right, Slightly Mad Studios, the studio behind Project Cars, has been acquired by Codemasters for $30 million. So this can only enhance both studios and reinforce Codemasters as a global powerhouse in racing titles because... Of course, we know Project Cars, but we also know that Codemasters does a ton of racing titles, and that is what they're known for. So, great buy for the Codemasters, and I'm sure if they keep the uh, the team at Slightly Mad Studios intact, then they will be able to advance as well. There was a statement that said that they were working on their own uh, AAA idea. They had a title for mobile for Project Cars that was being worked on, and a blockbuster movie title. So 
Um, look forward to those if they're still going to be in development now that Codemasters has taken them over, which hopefully they agree that they need to continue on those projects that they've already started and don't just scrap them and throw them away because it'd be interesting to see. Anyway, that's it for Nintendo. Let's move into Stadia. And with Stadia, we don't have a trailer because, as you know, they're brand new and they're not really doing a whole lot of their own titles at the moment. Um, so we just wanted to cover the one piece of news that I've seen this week, and that is that two new free titles have been added for those that adopted early, uh, making the count four titles. So originally we had Destiny 2 and Shogun Samurai, uh, which was a fighting game. Well, now um, they've added Farming Simulator and Tomb Raider to those free titles um, so that the early adopters can get involved in something more than the original two games. Now, I'm hoping that Stadia does some news very soon, but I will keep them in every week and keep improving what we see. Now, also, we know... Um, or if you don't know when you're viewing this, we did a Stadia review uh, that we released yesterday, and that was covering kind of some of the hiccups that Stadia is having um, off the start, and obviously what comes in box and um, kind of what to expect, and kind of being a little more grounded about it, because a lot of people are saying, well, this isn't doing this, or this isn't doing this. Well, Stadia has a a ton of developers that they're saying that are backing up the project and, and are going to get things moving. The biggest thing or complaint was that, well, if I use my phone, it may be, it streams a ton of data. We're you're streaming a video game from a server. What did you expect? Use Wi-Fi. So, I mean, there's, there's some common, um, common issues across all the reviews, you know, and ours included it as well. But uh, anyway, that's the news for Stadia this week. Again, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them at the bottom. And obviously, subscribe, like, and share. That helps a lot. And believe it or not, we're still working towards um, that subscriber number um, that we're trying to give away some free stuff. I think our first giveaway we'll do once we hit 50 and we'll go from there. So by all means, guys, until next week, uh, stay tuned, stay with us, and happy holidays.